Welcome to She's Naming Butterfly. I'm your host, Ebony Butterfly. Today I have with my co-host again, Lynn Lynn back again. Lynn Lynn back again. Lynn Lynn, you want to tell them about your um, shirt that nobody likes? Oh, she hates me. <laughs> this was a, um, a Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl, Pro Bowl. Pro Bowl shirt. Michael Vick first year. I, I played for the Eagles. I actually like Michael yes. Vick. I, I didn't know he played for the Eagles though, yes, but I actually did. like Michael Vick. She liked him, but she didn't know he played for. I, I, I have no like I have so many, a big fan. I, I am you know what? I'm a fan of players. Like I have no idea what teams they play for. Like I like Michael Vick. I like Cam Newton. I like Russell Wilson. You like I, black quarterbacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what? <laughs> You're right. I can name a few okay. more. Okay. Matter of fact, they're all black quarterbacks. Imagine, a imagine that. And then mm -hmm. my husband's a Chicago Bears fan, so I have a lot of Chicago Bears shirts. So I was like, I'm putting on my shirt too. <laughs> so like, we're going to do putting okay. on my shirt. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, how to take steps towards achieving your goals in life. Um, like, how do you start? And once you start, how to keep pushing towards the goals that you want to achieve in life. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So you want to start today? I, I think the uh, first thing to do is you have to recognize, um, set your goals, lay them out, um, and make the goals realistic. Give yourself a time frame um, and work toward it to stay and stay in the course. But in, in setting those goals, you have to actually do due diligence. Uh, if you want to become a writer, you want to write a book. I've been talking about writing a book now for years, and I haven't done it as of yet. But I have plenty of the memoirs in my computer, and I've, I've just started to put it together. But I set the goal to write that book 10 years ago. I just haven't gotten around to starting it. Why? Um, procrastination might be one thing and life you know i put being a mom a wife you know working everything doing everything else ahead of that that's something i said i wanted to do but it wasn't a priority and i think that's one thing we do in sabotaging ourselves so to speak is we we make our goals our goals to better ourselves and things that we want in life we don't make them a priority. We prioritize taking care of everybody else. Well, I prioritize. Oh, well, taking women, care of other people. That's that's yeah. women, particularly. I've heard to say black women. Black yeah. women always put everybody else before yeah. them. Yes. And so now that the kids are grown and the marriage is not an issue anymore, it's now do you. Do you. And stay the course. Yeah. Stand in my own truth. So let me ask you this. Are you going to take the steps now to complete your memoir and to write your book. I am definitely going to do that. You and, are. and the one thing I did say in, in accomplishing that is that I have to live in the now, in the present. No matter what happens, still stay the course on writing the book. Uh, life's going to be life. It doesn't mean I can't do a chapter a, a week or two chapters a week regardless of the, everything else that's taking place. Stop making everything else a priority opposed to the book that I've been trying to do for over 10 years. Yeah, it's so funny. So Ty and I have, like, we have these great story ideas, right? And we, and we talk and we, like, bounce things off each other, but we haven't actually, okay, let's not say we have not. We have sat down and wrote out a couple of chapters, but we don't, we're not consistent with right. it. So, like, I was telling him just the other day, I was like, I'd like for us, Every day, no matter what we're doing, to take 10 minutes out of our day and write down at least two paragraphs to go along with our story. Right? And even if it's not two paragraphs, two topics to add to the story or two things it, that you think of that anything. you need to go back. See, because with me, even now, I, I, I am gonna, I've totally changed the beginning of the book, the introduction, to a new scenario that just came up in yes, my life this yes, past you, couple of months. Yes, you have. So, <laughs> um, but when I'm when I'm writing about it, I'm excited, I'm smiling, I'm laughing. So I said, you know what? This is what I need. I needed life to hit me in the present moment as it has to motivate me to start my book. I'm living in my moments. Then you're living, you're living in, in your truth. moment now, and. With all that being said, I'm accomplishing something that I've put off for years. So, not that you want to be in the moment that you're in. Can you appreciate it? I can. Is that, is that okay? I, I don't want to. I can. I, I can appreciate know that the. Strength. I can appreciate the the growth I see within me. 
Yeah. Through through my through my trials. Right. So it, right. lessons and like people always say, lessons are meant to teach you something. And sometimes you're taught through pain. Right. Sometimes it's not necessarily painful. This particular lesson for me was painful. But I've grown in that moment and so I embrace it because that moment made me uh, man up, so to speak. And to reevaluate. Uh-huh. Right. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. yeah. To, and to when, oh, un, un, well, really quick, not to cut you off, but when you're unwilling mm -hmm. to deal with something mm -hmm. any longer, mm -hmm. right? Right. That motivates you to take some steps. Yes. To, yes. to make yes. some changes. Without a doubt, yes. I can say that I'm, I'm standing in my strength. And I know I, my situation might have altered or changed my life, right. but it, it was not meant to break me. So I, absolutely. the elevation oh, from absolutely. this absolutely. is just phenomenal. And we'll, we'll, I mean, in the book somewhere along the line, all this will come out. But uh, <laughs> And it's going to be next yeah, level. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, when I, yes, it will be. So and, and the book's going to have four parts to it. And the first, it's, it's called The Love Chronicles. And it'll have four Separate books. Truth, dear, consequences, and repeat. We all played that game when we were kids, right? <laughs> I think some of us are still playing that game. <laughs> yeah. to, okay, when you read the book, literally, a lot of us are still playing I the game. I feel like we are not I'm playing that game. Us, yes. I'm, I'm <laughs> us, yes. right? I feel like we are still playing that game. But then, in saying that, like, you you got to have, sometimes you need some uncomfortable situations to motivate you to do anything, right? One thing I have said, um, and it's... It's definitely be like a spiritual whatever. <laughs> your 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 mess is somebody else's message. My name is Ebony. Oh, Ebony, Miss Ebony Butterfly. Your mess is somebody else's message, and when you think that something is meant to break you, it's really, and you find out it was really meant to elevate you, and you you can actually recognize it to be a blessing. It's like, mm. so you know, you take it take it to the chin and keep it moving, and keep it and keep. It, but you know what though, and you and you saying that. It was never gonna break you. Like yeah. that was never that was never gonna be the end result. You hurt. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. but broken? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. But I think I think a lot of women go through that. Right. But we got like we go talk at like at this table. There's too much history for that. Yeah. 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 You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It it is, yeah. but it, it's a reality for some for some people that yeah. that they allow life life curveballs to, to break them yeah. opposed to make them. Yeah, and and I can't even say, I I, I don't even know if I would use the term making you, make you make you think outside of the box, make you okay. Think, there we go. Huh? Yes. Make your make your yes. consciousness yes. say okay, this is the situation, but I'm going to handle it this I'm way. Handle because things things yeah. you can't change. I no longer look at it as things I can't change. I tend to accept things I I don't accept. I want to change in my life. Things that you don't accept, you want to change. Absolutely. I don't want to allow them to be something that I have to just accommodate for. And, you know, we were talking earlier because we were talking about, like, unwilling to deal with certain things any longer. Like, I am unwilling to deal with this any longer. And that forced you to make changes, right? That's right. And, That's we, right. and we were talking about how just, well, you and I, we were talking about how just getting up every day and be like, everything is fine. Yeah. When everything is fine in life, you are not gonna push yourself nope, to make nope, any changes, nope, 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 right? That's right. Like, you know, I mean, we're not, I'm it's not your, saying it's your chaos. valley, it's your valley and those, that turmoil and your trials that allow you, motivate you Absolutely. to grow and go. Yeah. Because yeah. if you had no trials, if you have no testimonies to, to give, then, then life would just, just breeze by. Breeze you know? by, breeze but, by and you're missing, yes, and you're missing. Yes. And even, even in pain. Yeah. That could be a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because you want you want to experience everything that life has to offer. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And so you don't want it. I don't want easy. Yeah. You yeah. know, I don't, I don't want easy. And maybe that's because I, maybe I don't know how to accept easy. I don't mm -hmm. know if that, that mm -hmm. makes sense. But I, I don't want easy, yeah. right? But I don't want chaos right. either. Right. I just, right. I want something. Just give me a little bit nudge. Give me a little bit of push. You know but here's I mean? the thing. And even with that, even if it's chaos in the moment. In the moment. It's, it's in that moment. Yeah. It's not going to define your future. It's not going to be the rest of your life. It's not going to be where you, where you, where you're stuck. Yes. So hopefully, the whole, the, yeah. hopefully it's not well, going to be where you're stuck. Be. It, it should, should not be, be right. Yeah. Be where you're be. stuck. Absolutely not. So you, 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 you just have to, as they say, roll with the punches. Yeah. You, you don't get the, you don't get to determine what tomorrow is going to bring. You can't change the occurrences, but you can change your perspective on it. Yeah. yeah. And how you, how you deal with it. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think, yeah, 
I think that, like, the like what what you're what you're about to accomplish now is going to be a great thing. I can't wait to read your chronicles. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be interesting, to and, say the least. And repeat. <laughs> Literally, the repeat. And repeat. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Here, would you like to give any ending comments? Well, give feedback. Uh, give let feedback. us know um, different things, scenarios, how you, how you think planning your goals should be, uh, what things have hindered you in life. And if this if this talk has helped you, what what you got out of this conversation that might have, you know, given you motivation to do something that you've put off. And think about uh, what you're unwilling in your life to tolerate any longer, and maybe that'll help you to motivate you to push you to the next level. You're just yes. unwilling. But remember to like, subscribe, and share, and uh, remember to raise your vibrations. Bye. Bye.